Hey everybody, today we're here at the Thomas Creek Trailhead and we are going to be hiking up Thomas Creek and then up to a place called the Dry Pond. We've got beautiful weather out, it's gonna be a really nice day. I'm in Reno working again this week so I figured I would get out on my one day off and do some hiking and I'm gonna take all you guys along with us. So I uh, hope you enjoy this next hike, it should be pretty fun. This hike is uh, about 5.4 miles round trip. It is uh, pretty much an out and back. And uh, from what I was reading about, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty nice area. Get so this trail is just outside of the Mount Rose Wilderness area. And it's a multiple use trail, so occasionally you're gonna run into people on horseback and on mountain bike in addition to hiking. So on this trail, if you park in the parking lot that I parked in and started from, there's a uh, well-defined trail. It goes up over a little hill and then comes down and meets the, the creek. And there's other areas you can park down there. If you're coming up here on a hot, sunny day, well, it might be good to park over there because there's a lot of shade. But this trail gets a little bit obscured back there. If you, if you are... If you are uh, navigating with an app like All Trails, it shows a couple of different routes through this area here. So, but it's really nice. You get down into this drainage here, nice and cool. Got lots of water. It's a great hike to bring your dogs on. Although from what I was reading, you have to have your dogs on a leash for at least the first mile. Um, then you can let them off and let them run around. All right, so yeah, I got off the trail. I just found the trail, which is right there, and we're going to find some way to get over there. So the trail will run parallel to the uh, Thomas Creek Road for maybe about half a mile and then you'll cross the stream and start to make your way uphill. And apparently there is more parking along the, or just off of the, the road and you can access this trail that way too. So you don't necessarily have to park all the way down by where we parked. There's quite a few people out here with their dogs. Prepare to meet a lot of friendly dogs on this trail. Well, this has been a great hike so far. Real nice. Love hiking through all these trees. I've got a mix of aspens and pines. It smells real nice and fresh. So we're at the trail junction, you'll get to this sign. We're going to be taking this trail, this will take us up to the dry pond. This trail will continue to head up the drainage and eventually you will enter the Mount Rose Wilderness and I think it goes all the way to the ridge line of the uh, mountains up here. So definitely a nice hike, but it's a long one. I think it's uh, 14 miles maybe. So um, prepare for an all day on that one. But we're gonna go this way to the dry pond. So when I was doing my research for this hike, evidently this dry pond occasionally has water in it. I don't think that's gonna be the case this time because it is the middle of September and I would say your best bet to uh, run into water up there is gonna be in the springtime. So if you got your dogs with you, make sure they get plenty of water at the stream down there and bring some with because it's gonna be pretty much dry all the way up to the top.
Well, we made it up here to the dry pond. You can see it through the trees over here. There was a sign back there that asked people to stay off of this area. And with this area up here, which is really nice, I see the temptation for a lot of people wanting to go out there and hang out and why they probably closed it. So we're gonna continue along the trail here up to the edge where we can see down into the next drainage. And then we'll probably take a break. So this is where the trail starts to descend down into this drainage here. But I thought I'd come out here and pan the camera around a bit. This big mountain here with the snow on it is Mount Rose. So this is the Mount Rose Ski Resort. And of course you have a lot of really nice views from up here. But we're gonna turn around and go take a little break up here in the trees, someplace where we have a nice view. I've been relaxing in this meadow under one of these trees here for the last little while, had some lunch. So I think we're gonna try and hike up here. There's a minor peak up here about a quarter of a mile. So we're going to attempt to walk along this uh, ridge line and get up to the top and see what we can see. So far, there is actually a bit of a path up here. I can tell other people have seen this on the map and decided to come up here. But so far, it's been pretty nice. So here we are up at the top of the hill and we have quite a nice view from here. Behind me of course is Mount Rose and several of the adjacent drainages to the north. I'm going to pan this around a little bit. And that area over there is where the ski resort is and those are the ski runs you see on the side of the mountain. So when I was here a couple of weeks ago, I hiked along that ridge line over to the northwest and I climbed up a minor peak called Tamarack Peak. And uh, I have a video about that. If you want to uh, check that out, I will put the link right above and you can click on it and see what that adventure was like. Well, I think we are about done and we're gonna turn around and start the journey back down to the truck. So I hope you guys like this hike. Uh, I really like this, this was nice out here. You know, I enjoy getting out in the Sierras. It's nice to have the opportunity to actually get out and do this kind of stuff uh, on a day off while I'm over here working. And uh, hopefully I will be able to get out and do some more because I would really like to hike up Mount Rose one of these days, so. But at any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see more videos about hiking and camping out here on public lands, consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already because I would love to take you on some of these adventures that I go on. So we'll see you guys next time.